Howdy, it's Tubal Cain again, and I hope you can stand yet one more <laughs> video on the Delta Drill Press. I know there's four already, but uh, there's a fifth, and there might even be a sixth as I explore the uh, flexibility of the, of the tables and how much they uh, deflect as we drill. And somebody just uh, sent me a video uh, comment about that. So. And I had noticed that myself, how much uh, a table bends when you're exerting pressure on it. But the subject of this video is replacing the ship's wheel with a crank. So I'll get to that in a minute. But again, I'd like to explain the name Tubal Cain because I still get hundreds of comments saying, Are you a traveling man? I don't know what a traveling man is, but I, yeah, I do go to Branson once a year, I guess you could say. I am not a mason. And I take this name from the Bible, Genesis. Tubal Cain was the first artificer of bronze. So look that up if you want. But uh, let's get on with this video. But I want to show you a few other things that are going on in the shop, and then we'll get on with the crank. Bear with me if I'm repetitious. Here are the five videos so far on this Delta 15 inch drill press. Notice that I have moved the tips numbers out to the right away from the uh, the front of the videos and that's all about searches and uh, what the search reveals but you can still find them by searching by the number but uh, the, the names are sometimes chopped off in the, the, the search therefore you're getting the number and not the subject so that's why I have done that so starting with number 400 so and these are all videos that can be found in the playlist so be sure and check my playlists out as well and I get a lot of comments about my sense of humor I know it's very dry and some people don't even realize it when I'm doing tongue-in-cheek but I did get that from my dad so thanks for those of you that like that humor and yes, some of you are waiting with bated breath for the Logan course, which will be out after New Year's, and this is uh, November of 2017, so I still have quite a few chapters to go, but it'll be a complete 40-chapter video course on the Logan lathe, and you know, there are 90,000 Logan lathes out there someplace, so I think the course will be well received and appreciated and I think I told you that I have been in contact with Scott Logan who now runs Logan Actuators and he is the grandson or I should say son rather no grandson of the uh, of the uh, George Logan who started Logan Engineering and Logan Lays so watch for that And yes, I have traded off my buggy whips for a 3D printer. And I've talked about that before. Many of you do not like me doing this, but I've entered the new age. And remember, this was donated by the good people at Banggood. But I'm presently printing a prototype for the base for this engine. I've talked about that. It is not a foundry pattern, but uh, there it is, the first version of it. And I'm, I have a lot to learn and uh, this is really technical for an old geezer like me but I've come a long way already in a couple of weeks as far as learning these programs and learning how to run this so watch for many videos on this which I hope will interest some of you alrighty back to the business at hand here and in one of my videos I said that I wanted to trade in the ship's wheel from the Delta drill press and put a crank on there to speed it up a little bit because this literally had to be turned you know more or less like this or with two hands so within days and this just surprised the heck out of me I received a package out of the clear blue sky and it was from Mark Brozak in Madison Ohio and it was kind of a lumpy thing I thought what in the heck is in there well there was a nice letter and of all things and this was stapled brand new made of steel is a very heavy crank and it was still in the package and he said he had 10 of these from an auction and sent this along to me to see if I could use it and and I'm going to install it so it was made by the Berg company it's new old stock so 
you can see it's about the same diameter but of course it's not the same hole size so that will have to be drilled and reamed but that's pretty routine and easy so I'm gonna do that right now but let me show you the trouble that I got into immediately when I took this off some of you are gonna criticize me harshly again for modifying this but this will be a repair or a, a modification that can be quickly changed back to the original. No, I will not throw this away. I will bag it. I will mark it. I will hang it from the drill press for the next owner because I will only own this drill press for five years because it isn't too long before I'll be taking a dirt nap. Many, many times over the years I have told people do not drive a pin into a blind hole. Well, Delta, love them, in 1963 fastened this with a pin and I got the parts list, I examined to see how it was made and it was driven into a blind hole. Boy, you talk about a bugger getting that out and I almost quit three times. Well, I did quit. I went to bed and then the next day I tackled it again and that happened several times until finally I had a brainstorm and again here's where the criticism is going to come in and I'm hesitant to even show this to you but I'm going to because some of you may run into a problem like this and and, and you just ne never know but uh, this is a die casting well made probably came from a supplier and it was pinned to this half inch shaft well there's the pin and I finally got it out notice that there's no hole on this side there was a keeper which I probably won't get into that I had to slide back like a foreskin and then it revealed the pin well I was going to drive the pin out thought that's simple enough but no way I look on the other side and it's not a through hole so how did I do that let me put this over on the bench. Maybe I can get a better close-up of what I did here. I'll immediately get comments saying, well, why didn't you do this? Or why didn't you do that? Well, because I didn't think of it, and you probably are smarter than me. I'm just an old shop teacher, after all. So I took my Dremel, but the, the cutoff wheel was way too large in diameter, so I immediately had to reduce it to, to gain access. And I know it looks a bit butchered here, but what I did is to grind... A slot on either side and this is soft this is aluminum it's a die casting but it's not zinc it is aluminum so what I did and remember this pin was flush there wasn't any way to grab it so after putting a little slot here and a little slot there I was able to with great difficulty using my vice grips needle nose I grabbed just a little bit and I mean I wasn't getting much of it as you can imagine perhaps uh, 330 seconds I grabbed it and I was praying and I twisted it and, I, and it slipped off and I wiggled it and I tried over and over because even the, the end of the pin now you can see it's kind of uh, mangled but I finally wiggled it and out it came and I said a thank you prayer and this is the keeper here it's a spring where's the end of it right there that had to be slid back as I said like a foreskin to to even reveal this but anyway I did get it off once the pin was backed out it slipped right off remember this drill press has received very very little use over the years so if somebody doesn't like what I did here you're just gonna have to live with it don't even tell me you know, I know that people are going to say that I'm the butcher of Barcelona. This is a half inch hole. This is a three eighths hole. So I'm going to put it in the closing lathe and drill it and ream it. Again, this is steel. Now, when you do something like that, you see that there's a, a set screw here. And uh, just a little dimple there, like maybe somebody was going to drill one or maybe for whatever the application was, they had spotted it but back out your hardened set screw so it doesn't damage the drill and the reamer. Thank you Mark Brozak for this nice crank. I think I failed to thank you a few minutes ago. And again, Tubal Cain, my name is 
in Genesis 4.22 if anybody wants to look at it. So that's the address. My video courses are now on Vimeo On Demand for rent if anyone wants to check that out. And the Logan series will certainly be on Vimeo as well. This is a 31 64 drill bit and I'm going to drill through and then ream it half inch. Chucking reamer, slow speed back gears. How many of you have burned yourself on your work light over the years? Well, now I'm equipping my machinery with LED bulbs. It's a, a blessing, if you will. Well, I'm ready to put it on. And that didn't leave me a whole lot of uh, wall thickness here for the thread on the set screw, but it will do. And you know what? There's a flat spot on that shaft. How fortuitous is that? Or is that a peace offering from Delta, uh, their way of saying we're sorry for putting that blind pin in. But anyway, I was going to put a washer in there, and I spent five minutes finding a nice washer, but this is unmachined and it's at an angle. Because remember, this shaft goes at an angle, so a washer really does no good. So let me put that on, and uh, other than the diameter of the hole, it really was quite a nice fit. A little bit shy here, perhaps uh, an eighth of an inch from coming out, but that could matter less. And I did put a little oil on the shaft. I always do that on assembly. So let's give it a whirl after I tighten that screw. Make sure you watch the video where I fixed the pointer with that ladder chain. Now, do you recall from the other view here that this is knurled around here? So if I need a grip here and the crank doesn't give me the leverage I need, I, I still have, in essence, uh, the leverage given to me by the ship's wheel. And yes, it would be nice. It does take a bit of effort to turn it. It would be nice if the wheel was a little bit larger in diameter, but uh, it's uh, very functional, and with the knurl or the knob here, I now have a whole new lease on life with my Delta Variable Speed Drill Press. Hope you're not sick of hearing about this thing, but uh, that concludes this video. I hope you enjoyed it, and we'll watch many of my other videos. I have well over 900 now, so check them out, and I will see you in the next video. There it is. That's all the support.
And then the whole idea here is that the engine will fit on something like that. 